My fabulous chemistry students, video notes number three, grams to moles. This is very important stuff. It's a little bit math heavy. Sorry, guys, that these videos are getting a little longer than I want. I'm going to try my best to keep it as short as possible. What I need to be able to do now is go back and forth between moles and grams and grams and moles. And this gram formula mass, of course, is going to be our key. Okay, so um, moles is going to be our numeric pathway, basically, again, for how many to how, how much to how many. Okay, and being able to go back and forth is muy importante. Okay, so here's a little pictogram. Talks about moles and grams. All right, so if I'm at moles and I want to get to grams, I will multiply by the gram formula mass. Okay, and you can memorize this however you want. You're going to find out I do dimensional analysis and I let the units be the guide. Um, grams, if I'm in grams and I need to get to moles, I will divide by the gram formula mass. And when I show, set up the units the way they're supposed to be, you'll see that that's the best way to go about it. So again, table T, back page of your reference tables tells me the number of moles is the mass divided by the grams over moles. And here it is right here, mass over mass over moles. And I'll just do it here, and this is a little bit of that math stuff, right? But if I have grams divided by grams over moles, the grams cancels, and that leaves me technically with 1 over 1 over a mole. And if I have a fraction in a denominator, math says I can flip it and bring it to the numerator, so then it just becomes moles. So that's how I get from grams to moles. And it's a tricky little thing with the um, units there. And I did it pretty fast, but it's legit. I promise. Math's my favorite. So calculate the gram formula mass of a compound is step one. The problem says how many moles are in 4.75 grams of sodium hydroxide, NaOH. So let's do the gram formula mass because we had to do part, you know, we got to figure out how much it is for one mole. So sodium is 23 grams times 1 is 23, okay? O is 16 times 1 is 16. This is nice when they're all 1, huh? And hydrogen is 1, so that's 1. I have, let's see, 4 and 6 is 10. I got 40 grams per mole. A gram formula mass is per mole. That's step 1. This 4.75 is going to come into play as we keep going. So now it says... Plug the given value in the gram formula mass into the mole calculation formula for the number of moles. Well, it gave me 4.75 grams. I'm going to divide that by 40 grams per mole. The grams are going to cancel, and I'm going to be left in moles. I just got to plug it into my calculator now. So, handy dandy calculator says 4.75 divided by 40 grams per mole is 0 0.11875 moles, or I could round that up and say it's 0 0.12 moles. Okay, the, sh the, def or the shortcut for moles is M-O-L-S, even though the correct um, spelling is M-O-L-E-S, but you'll see I do moles without the E all the time. Shortcuts is shortcuts. All right, so practice. Um, I see lithium fluoride, I see potassium chloride, and I see um, KOH, potassium hydroxide. So I'm going to do the potassium chloride for you because it's going to be a little bit, I want to make sure we can do the longer version. You can do LIF and figure out what the gram formula mass is of this is pretty easy. Um, potassium chloride, I got K. I got Cl. K's charge is a plus one. Cl's charge is a minus one. So that gives me KCl. So that's good. Now I can do it. But that one had the crisscross. You had to be able to crisscross to get this one. So that's why I'm doing it. Now I got a K and I got a Cl. There's one of each times their mass. So let's see. K is 39 grams per mole. CL is 35, so it's going to be 39 plus 35, right? 39 plus 35, if I do that out, I got 14 and 7 is 74 grams. So there's 74 grams in one mole. It gives me 148 grams per mole. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. This is grams per mole. It gives me 148 grams. 
So I know that the grams per mole is going to go on the bottom because we've done this a bunch. But think about it this way. If I have 148 grams of the stuff on the balance, and it tells, and I calculated that 74 grams is one mole, and I have 148 grams, do I have more than one mole or less than one mole? And that's some of the math that we should be able to do pretty quick in our head that at least be able to tell us it should be more than one. So that tells me the bigger number goes on top. 148 grams, plus we just, we learned that it's grams divided by gram formula mass. So we'll just follow that. Plug and chug, we call that. Grams is going to cancel, leave me in moles. I got 148 divided by 74. Two. Two moles. Beautiful. Grams cancels. So now you have two to practice, well, number one and number three. Again, I hate to be a stickler, but I'm not giving you full credit on your homework if you don't do it. Um, converting from moles to grams. Now we're just going to go backwards, okay? We're going to rearrange and solve for grams. <clears throat> so in this case, the mass of the sample, grams, equals the number of moles times the gram formula mass. Because if I do this, moles is going to cancel with moles in the denominator and leave me with grams. Unit analysis, dimensional analysis is beautiful stuff that's going to work every time. So here we go. Calculate the gram formula mass for the compound H2SO4 is my step one. I didn't read the problem, of course, because I'm moving right along as fast as I can to get you guys done with these notes. So there's two hydrogens times one gram per hydrogen is two. I found that right on my periodic table. Sulfur, there's one of them. Look up sulfur on my periodic table. It is 32. So that gives me my 32. Oxygen. There's four of them times 16. Four times six is 24. No, it's not. It's 32, so it's 42. Excuse me. I got 676 grams per mole for my GFM. Now it says plug the given value and the GFM into the moles calculation formula. Mass of sample is going to equal the number of moles times the GFM. Well, it says I have 2.5 moles. Okay, so it's going to be plug and chug 2.5 moles. Sorry, the point came out bad. I got to start slowing this thing down again. 76 grams per mole. That's going to let my moles cancel and put me in grams. So it's going to end up being 76 times 2.5 equals 190. Grams is what I'm left with. Beautiful. So there's there's our example. Now you have some practice. Um, I'm going to let you do both of these practices to save time on the video. And of course, you're going to do them. So it's again going to be met the moles times the gram formula mass of this, which you'll have to calculate first. And then this one's going to be a half a mole, 0.5, times the gram formula mass of this. I know that you can do both things now. And you is very happy. Here's some good news. One page of practice for this, and we'll be done. Okay? And no castle learning on this. So, that puts you guys in a little bit of a predicament. You, I got through it in eight minutes. You think there's going to be a quiz on this stuff? We're actually going to have to do this by hand, and the quiz isn't on castle learning? But see you guys in class tomorrow.